whatever you want comes in here. So I want panda. So just like that. I got broads in the lung. What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be doing another day in the life. So, uh, current point right now, just got out of class. You'll probably see that clip here in a second. Um, obviously couldn't get any video footage considering I'm not supposed to be recording in class anyway. Uh, but I did get some audio for you. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Currently at work right now, so we're gonna go ahead and be here for, stay here for a couple hours, get some, get some work done, and then uh, gotta go back to school here in a little bit. Got another class coming up, so that's the plan right now. Um, that's the plan for this video. So stay tuned. And welcome to my busy life. Okay, <coughs> see. Equal x squared minus y squared. If you put in constants for z, you get hyperbolas, depending on what the constant is. And so these hyperbolas are level curves for z. And then here is the unit circle. <coughs> That's the constraint, correct? <coughs> so the uh, extreme value has to occur on the unit circle. <coughs> and we can see these points, and the graph isn't quite perfect. But it intersects level curves at those points, one, zero, negative one, zero, zero, one, and zero, Pretty much a programming class that you use MATLAB in, which is, I guess, kind of cool, but it kind of, kind of difficult for me. I just, I struggle with some of the, well, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain. I guess I'll just show you here in a second. So, let's go to class. So we just got done with numerical methods. Not very exciting, like I told you guys. Kind of, kind of crazy, actually, trying to learn this all. I'm just hoping I get a good grade in this class. Just a passing grade. I think I can pull it off. It'll just take a lot of work. Anyways, uh, right now, about to head over to my buddy Isaac's house, which you've probably seen him in my workout videos, a workout with Big Buddha. Uh, he was also kind of helping out with the Harry Spotter workout, which I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description. Anyways, I'm gonna go meet one of our other friends, Aaron. He's gonna meet me up at Isaac's house, and we, well, Aaron's actually a barber, and he's gonna fix me up. My hair is getting pretty long on the sides and the back for my own taste. So I'm going to get that all cleaned up and I will see you when we get there. All right guys, made it to Big Buddha's house and uh, you know you've made it 
when you witness the shrine. Weak. Game. You got Big Buddha. You, you got my buddy uh, Aaron here. He's a he's the professional barber. He's even strong, bro. He's weak. He doesn't even lift. He doesn't okay. even lift. This kid. Shit <laughs> leg. <laughs> All right. So what do you think, Aaron? Can you tame this uh, this wild dew? It's getting kind of kind of long. I got you, bro. You got it. I got you. I, I have complete faith in this guy. Let's get you faded up, bro. Let's do it. So this is the before of the haircut. I love how there's a boat in your barbershop, bro. We love Leave crab it traps. It's called the classic garage haircuts, man. You can't beat them. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. And the after. Looking a lot better. If you want to get a haircut like this, Aaron, he's the guy. Or at least he can tell you what to do. I can tell you. I can help you out. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a channel. Man, you got, we gotta Follow get Follow me on channel. Instagram, Aaron Cuts. I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Alright, Aaron, how do you get a haircut like this? How do I do this? Yeah, how do you do it? So I use my number two, pretty basic, all the way up, just kinda follow a guideline all the way around the head. And then took about a half inch off the top. Made it all up, tapered out the back, pretty much it. You heard it, it's simple, it really is. <laughs> Alright, so Thanks to my boy Aaron and Isaac, yeah, Isaac for letting us uh, for letting us do it here. So we will see you in the next clip. And we back, and we back home. And this dog won't leave me alone. What's up, Sapphire? How you doing? She's always got to bring bring toys. She, br she brought me a bone today. How was your day, Sapphire? Was it good? Oh, stay down. You may notice the kitchen is uh, well. There's not really much of one. Everything's kind of out. And that is because, okay, Sapphire, okay, you can do this. That is because it's all being remodeled. So, uh, if you remember from previous videos, there was all like pink countertop and uh, tile flooring. Uh, everything was dark green. Now it's a little bit of a lighter shade. We had the soffits up above. Uh, it's all being redone. So now there's gonna be all hardwood flooring all throughout here. It's gonna match the flooring in there. Uh, we're gonna get new countertops, all new cabinets, uh, new microwave. Um, really just a completely new kitchen so I'm pretty excited for that um, probably another two weeks I would say it'll probably be done so yeah got the haircut obviously like you saw in the last clip now I'm gonna do exactly what the most exciting person in the world would do um, homework so I have a lot of that so I'm probably gonna do that for a couple hours I wanted to go to the gym and hit shoulders and arms that's probably what I should do uh, realistically though when I think about it I have so much homework to do that I probably should get that done first and it'll probably be like nine o'clock by the time that's done um, and I wanted to actually try there's a new gym that just opened up uh, next to us it's called crunch fitness I've actually never worked out at a crunch fitness uh, so I was gonna try it out I currently go to 24 um, so we'll see how crunch is but I'm probably not gonna do that tonight I might do that tomorrow I've worked out like the last five or six days in a row without taking a break. So I might just make today an off day from the gym, just get a lot of homework done that way prepared for tomorrow. Uh, have a couple pretty big exams coming up this week. I'm not really, I, I'm giving myself like one cheat day every week or two. Uh, typically I'm making them happen on the weekends. It didn't happen this week or really the week before. So today is kind of my cheat day. I'm not really tracking anything, just with everything going on. I'm trying to make things, uh, at least my food, as stress-free as possible. So uh, I didn't track that meal that I had earlier that you saw a little bit ago. Um, I'm also gonna have Panda Express for dinner. That sounds freaking amazing. I'm gonna have the uh, orange chicken and some Beijing beef. So that should be coming here in just a couple minutes. Hey, Sapphire, you want a treat? What are you sniffing, dog? I was gonna feed the dogs, so we got, in this one, we got the dog food. Right there, we got the dog food. So, the other one, though, this is actually people food. It's the magical bin that you pull out, and whatever you want comes in here. So, I want panda, so just like that. I got broads in Atlanta, just to be in the family. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry about the abrupt ending. Um, pretty uneventful. Like I said, I was going to be doing some studying, and I did that for a couple hours and ended up passing out. Uh, it is pretty tough, you know, trying to fit in, you know, working a lot as well as going to school full time, working out, and making these videos. Honestly, 
I really don't even have time for it, but it's something that I enjoy doing and you guys seem to enjoy them as well. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do them. So with that, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you on the next video.